Hi, I'm Tony Cabral. I'm a state representative here in Massachusetts, and we are in New Bedford, where my district is, so welcome. Um, I know that you're all there enjoying uh, this event around the American elections. I'm going to be talking a little bit about uh, not only the national level, but in particular starting in Massachusetts, what's happening here, both in New Bedford and uh, overall in the state of Massachusetts. We have, uh, obviously, as you might know, uh, in the U.S., we have elections every year, in particular in Massachusetts. Uh, even years are either state or federal elections, uh, and odd years are usually local elections, municipal elections. This year is a uh, state election, and uh, and also we elect members for Congress this year as well for Massachusetts. Uh, it might differ from here to there in terms of uh, different states. I don't know who else you're going to be listening to or. Uh, I'm sure there'll be folks from other states and sometimes their races or their elections are slightly different in terms of what's happening in their states. For us, uh, the, big, uh, the big election this year is really for the position of governor. Uh, the, the, the present governor, Paul Patrick, is not running for re-election, so we have a very intense year, uh, election this year between both the Democratic candidates uh, candidate and the Republican candidate. There are some independents, but they don't stand a chance of really winning this election. So the election is really between uh, uh, Martha Coakley and Charlie Baker. Martha Coakley being the Democratic candidate and uh, Charlie Baker the Republican. Uh, so as we speak, uh, or as I speak right now, we don't know the results yet, but they will be coming in shortly today. Uh, and uh, by, by sometime early evening, uh, when I say early evening, after sometime around 9 p.m. Uh, our time, uh, and then we should know uh, the actual, the beginning of, of most of those results. Locally, um, there are no municipal elections, but there are uh, other state elections, like for state representative and for state senator, uh, for U.S. Congress and for U.S. Senate. Uh, we do have a contested race here in my area for, for the U.S. Congress between uh, between the incumbent, the incumbent Bill Keating, which some of you might know, uh, and uh, his Republican opponent. Uh, uh, we believe that uh, Congressman Keating uh, should be reelected and will be reelected, and that's my personal opinion. And also elections for positions like mine, state representative, which I am also up for re-election. But uh, fortunately, uh, this year I have no opponent, so uh, the results uh, will be clear uh, that I will be winning, uh, and that's always a nice feeling to win. Um, and also we have elections obviously for state senator and, and the U.S. Senate. The U.S. Senate is uh, uh, the present U.S. Senator Ed Markey is up for re-election for a full term of six years at the federal level. Uh, he has uh, uh, an opponent, uh, but all the polls indicate uh, so far that he's going to be the winner tonight uh, once the, the, all the votes are in. So, uh, in terms of the results uh, for the national level, in terms of what's going to happen for the next uh, national congress or federal uh, federal level, as we usually refer here to, um, really is is uh, important election as well. Uh, we uh, what's at stake here is is the who's going to control Congress, both houses of Congress, be the House of Representatives uh, or uh, be the U.S. Senate as well. Uh, all indications are that um, that you know the U.S. the U.S. House of Representatives uh, will be uh, continue to be controlled by the Republicans, and and U.S. Senate uh, most likely will remain in control of the Demo of the Democrats. That seems to be where how it's playing out. There's a, a, a chance of that changing, uh, but we'll know once the, all the results are in. Uh, so for governor again in Massachusetts is the main election this year. And we hope, uh, at least from my perspective, we hope to elect another Democratic governor.